Some opponents of former President Donald Trump are looking to block the current Republican frontrunner from appearing on the ballot in November 2024, saying his role in the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol could be enough to disqualify him from running, based on a rarely used provision of the U.S. Constitution. Reuters reporter Jack Queen explains the situation. So Section 3 of the 14th Amendment holds that anyone who is engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the government is disqualified from holding federal office. And some legal scholars and advocacy groups are saying that Trump's actions on January 6th, when he encouraged his supporters to storm the Capitol, where they tried to block the certification of President Joe Biden's win, amounted to an insurrection or rebellion that disqualifies him. On September 6th, advocacy group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington filed a lawsuit in Colorado seeking to bar the state's top election official from placing Trump on the ballot. And more could follow, inviting a legal melee across all 50 states over a largely untested legal question with potentially broad implications for who is permitted to hold federal office. But how would this process work? his opponents would need to either persuade secretaries of state or force them through court order to keep Trump off the ballot. Many of these secretaries of state are elected Republicans and allies of Trump in states that are governed by Republicans. And also it raises some novel legal questions around whether or not it would be a violation of his due process rights to bar Trump from holding office for crimes that he has not actually been convicted of or even accused of. He's under indictment in four cases, including two that concern his efforts to reverse his election loss, but not even those actually accuse him of insurrection or rebellion. Some legal experts say efforts to disqualify Trump could set a troubling precedent that would empower state election officials to unilaterally disqualify candidates based on their own interpretations of insurrection or rebellion. So could a block work? It's a bit of a long shot in part because because it would probably entail a wave of litigation across multiple states, including states that are controlled by Republicans. And if it ended up at the Supreme Court, that's controlled in a six to three majority by conservatives, including several Trump appointees. So that would potentially be a favorable venue for him.